The Jewish vaccine is quasi in answer with back on its two ELDS missions by back in Britain. Like the link to the video will be the description below. Go in check much. So let's into this vaccine three, two, one. What's the most fun thing about being on a mission? Any plan he has for when he moves back with the ring emoji. I just want to come back home and get married. How do you deal with the homesickness? Does Brock still think that he will eventually get to return back to Brazil to complete the rest of his mission? What does he miss most about home? Everybody knows. <laughs> I, I think we all know. Best story so far in sharing your beliefs with strangers. What month is Brock and Kesley coming back? Yeah. It is the moment you have been waiting for. I literally said that I would film this video a month ago. It's been so long and I'm so sorry about it. It is finally here. It's Sunday night right now and usually Brock will call us on like Sunday, Mondays and then he can call us really whenever he wants to. But those are the days that he typically will call us. He's planning on FaceTiming us later tonight and I have a list of all the questions that a lot of yeah. you wrote on like our YouTube community tab. I'm just gonna go through, ask him all yes. the questions. It'll be so fun because then it's like a big life update on how Brock is on his mission. And if you're new here, Brock is my twin brother He's serving a mission for our church. A little backstory. He was called to Brazil and then he ended up coming home because he had to get gallbladder surgery. And then he went to yeah. Connecticut oh. and now he's in Boston, which is still so crazy. Oh, it That's a little update, but I'm excited to hear from him. Wait, hold up. It hasn't connected to my, it's just connected to my AirPods. Look who it is. He can't hear us because his stuff. Wait, maybe flip your screen the other way so they can see your face a little bit better. Hold on, I can hear you. Flip your screen horizontal. Wait, hold on one second, one second, one second. Horizontal. Technical difficulty right here. I'm back. Mm. Okay, flip your screen horizontal. That didn't work. <laughs> oh, there we nope. go. Yeah, it worked. What's good? Can you see yourself Welcome. on the vlog camera? No, not really. Okay. Yeah, kind of. We asked YouTube a month ago or whatever to give us some questions, so I have them all here like screenshots. The first question is, what month is Brock and Kesley coming back? I think she's going back on. I don't. I don't know what, when she's coming back. Actually. When do you guess? What's your best guess? Yeah. What's your best guess? I think hers is May. She's May. Then I'm come. And then I'm gonna come home in July. It's back two months before you. Woo wee! Two months before me. Well, first off, Brock is serving his mission for two years, and then Kesley is serving for a year and a half. Brock started earlier, and then Kesley started a little bit later. So she's so lucky. She gets to be back before you, unless you <laughs> come back home earlier. I know. I know. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Well, see, I think, te well, technically, I know from when I was in Brazil, my return date was July, no, I think it's maybe June 22nd. I think it was June 22nd, and then now my returning date, I think, for now, is July 11th. But it could be August, August 20th or something, when one of the 20s. No, I don't know. no to that. Mom, de mom does not like hearing that. <laughs> <laughs> no, no to that, no to that, no. Yes. <laughs> I don't think that's possible. I'd have to come home, like, Two transfers early, which is like 12 weeks. Each transfer is six weeks. They're with a companion for six weeks, and then once that six weeks is over, they can switch to a different person. That's uh, pretty much yes. their roommate. You've been on three oh. transfers? No, uh, uh I've been on, I've been on, um, uh, like three. So when I first came <laughs> on the mission, I was only for two weeks. I was with two different roommates, two different companions, and then I did yeah. a full six weeks with an, another companion, and then that same old companion, and then basically third transfer, not full transfer. Nine months down on the two-year mission. Next yeah. question is, two best story so years. far in sharing your beliefs with strangers in Brazil or I think they said New England, but you're in Boston right now. It's the New England Boston. area. Boston. That's what they call this. Like just this whole area combined. Like Connecticut, Boston, because that's where he's been for the last little bit. But what yeah. what's been like a cool what's been a cool story about sharing your belief? Because you met people that were from Fortaleza, where you were first called to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that was super cool. One of my first days here, actually, it was in Connecticut. I was walking up and down the streets of Connecticut. We're just inviting people to church, and we met a girl, and she was randomly from. Fortaleza, super cool, just seeing someone. Just meeting someone from my old mission. We'll go through these kind of quick. What does he miss most about home? Everybody knows. <laughs> I, I think we all know. Hey, you know. Who what? Is, what, what is it? Who is it? You know, you know. Kesley. This is Kesley the most. <laughs> She's not home anyway. I know, so if I was to come home, I'll need to be coming back to Fortnite. 
Kesley and uh, Fortnite. Fortnite. Phone nut. Yeah, and you guys, I guess. <laughs> he misses Kesley, Fortnite, and we're gonna say the whole family to make this feel better. Kesley, hey, uh, uh you guys, phone died. So, the more of them on the mission, the more I've missed my family. Appreciate so. us more now? Yeah, I appreciate yeah. you so much more. <laughs> so much more. We love hearing that. How does Brock like Boston, Massachusetts so far? I'm just gonna say Boston. I'm not even gonna say the last word because I can't ever say it right. I'm gonna just say, when I first got my reassignment, I was not happy about it. But being here in Boston and being in this area, like it's literally been the sickest thing ever. I don't know, my area is super cool. I drive over like this huge bridge and I can see like the ocean. I can see like the Boston ED Garden. I can see all of downtown Boston. I can see like Fenway Stadium. Like it, dude, it's sick. It's the sick area. Yeah, it's so funny because Brock, you went to the six. suburbs, the rainforest. And then to the country, and then now you're in the city. You've, you've lived in, in a lot city. of random places. I will say, Brazil does have my heart. Like, it's such, it was such a cool place. Also, Boston's pretty sick, too. What is his favorite food place slash restaurant he's been to? A companion, bro. He can cook good food. Like, literally <laughs> the best food. Oh, Boston Burger Company. If you go yeah. there between the times 4.20 to like 5 o'clock, you can get a, a, a burger, like a really, really nice burger with fried onion, mozzarella cheese sticks, all in one burger for four dollars really? twenty cents. As a missionary, when you're balling on a budget, the best thing ever. And then we got like this huge milkshake. Wait, what about that one barbecue place that you went to in Connecticut? Oh yeah, there was a there's a place that's called Bears Bears Barbecue. It's super good barbecue. Yeah, I love it. I don't know. There's some good there's some good spots on here. I need to explore more. If you guys have any food spots, comment them down below because Brock will want to check that out. We come and see you in Boston. You come see me. I know we got we gotta go to all the good food spots. So you have to try them out before yeah. we get there. When are you guys pulling up? <laughs> when you're done with your mission, unless someone lets us come before uh, that. Surprise. You? Should I just surprise him? Just randomly? My birthday, man. My birthday's coming up. I know. Do we fly down there and surprise him? You should switch him out one day. You should just go with his companion one day. Yeah, Brock, we don't tell your companion that you're a twin, and then we'll just do a twin swap. He already knows, but we have a transfer coming up, so maybe you can do the next one. <laughs> that, that's a good idea. What was the hardest thing to adjust to when he got to Boston that compared to being in Brazil? The history. You hated the history. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I, I, I just, I was not in like a good yeah, easy head space when I first got here. Like I was still missing my family. I'm like, I was first called to go to Brazil. Brazil's my place. Coming here, I don't know. I'm just like kind of salty being here. So I don't know. I so just, the, you're, you're salty. Like, so I'm here, like, I'm here for a reason. It's not just like, remind me what the question was again so I can answer. <laughs> oh, I think you, you answered it good. It was, what was the hardest thing to adjust to? Yeah, it's just actually coming out here, being happy about my mission. Next question is, when will you share your bread recipe? He's made, how many sourdough loaves have you made? Let me check. On our Instagram, we'll post like the update or whatever that he sends to us. And then he has like a bread count of how many loaves of bread he's made. 39 is my guess. What do you think, dad? 47. What's 41. Some quick math. 24 plus 8 plus 6. 32 six. plus 6 is 38. That's what I said, right? You said 38? I think 38 is right. Yeah, I made 38 loaves. And then if you guys want the bread recipe, my mom did an Amazon Live with it. We'll just link that down below. You can check it out whenever you want. Does Brock still think that he will eventually get to return back to Brazil to complete the rest of his mission? Or does he have a different outlook completing his mission in Boston instead? The outlook right now isn't looking so great to go back to Brazil because I did have I, I did have a talk with my mission president, which is like the guy in charge of the mission stuff. It basically laid it to me straight. Nope, I'm not going back to Brazil. Yeah, I don't know. A little, little tough to hear, but kind of what it is now. But I'm getting a new mission present, so maybe. Fuck, <laughs> no! I don't, I don't yeah. know stressing out about hearing that. He does not want him go, to go to Brazil. Because, Brock, here in Boston, you have yeah. you have Amazon that we can send you stuff, DoorDash, it, all these good things, and you're on a better so time just... zone. You're only an hour ahead of us. He was on the same time zone then. Oh, really? Same as Brazil. Well, I didn't know that. Yep. Yeah, I didn't know well, that. <laughs> so I guess I should just go back to Brazil. What is your daily routine, and do you have to clean slash cook for yourself? First thing is we wake up every day at 6.30. We go and we plan for our day within like the first few minutes of getting up, and then go and work out for at least 30 minutes. We'll eat breakfast, and then shower, and just get ready for the day up until like 9 o'clock, yeah, up until 9 o'clock, do all those things. And then after 9, I do a personal study, a one-hour personal study, where I'm just like reading the Bible, um, and then I'll do one hour of language study, which basically i'm learning portuguese so i like study grammar and then I do a bunch of other stuff like right as of right now my companion we read the, the like the book of mormon out loud for 30 minutes straight and so like that's helped that tell my pronunciation and then after language study companion study together we watch like safety zone videos which is basically like these videos they're super cheesy but it's like yeah so we usually just like study and then study together and plan lessons in that time too just 
to know what we're going to teach people. And then later that day, we'll usually hit the road and we'll go to like different cities, different spots in our area. And we'll just go and invite people to church. And I don't know. I think that's usually like my funnest, the funnest part of the day. You just get to talk to a bunch of random people. You see a lot of random stuff. You <laughs> yeah. hear a lot of stuff too. So, I don't know, that's super fun. And then usually we wind back down Shaboo. at the church. And then we'll do, like, chapel tours. So we'll show people like, like what the chapel looks like. Get people comfortable, like, and, like, okay, this is what you do when you come to church. It's not, like, awkward or... Yeah, and then we just call people, see how people are doing. We need to, like, help anybody. We can do that. And then, oh, also, you have to cook and clean for yourself? Yes. So every meal, cleaning stuff, you have to clean, too. I know there are missionaries out there that do not cook or clean, so they eat horrible really like ramen or cereal <laughs> or they just won't eat they just won't eat and they'll just go and eat out somewhere brock is seriously such a food he tells us all the things that he's eating you made this whatever heart bro what? i have the chicken heart stroganoff and he has like all these good recipes he's been making i think that's super good <laughs> for the mission it teaches people to grow up be clean and take care of themselves with brock being out he's learned how to clean and make good meals and then also oh, i think i've always been kind of clean no, not your bedroom. Your bed, your closet is still a mess upstairs. No. Right you so was it? Was it? <laughs> you don't so was it? not clean. He's like germ clean, like he'll like wipe things down, or he's weird about like germs and stuff. We're yes. just weird about that since you've got like surgery. He's pretty clean for the most part. Yeah. yeah. You know, for the most part, my bed is this stuff all the time. He's got a bed. He makes his bed every single day. Missed. How do you deal with the homesickness? Are you feeling homesick? I want to come home. <laughs> I just, dude, I joke about that every day, but every joke comes with a little true. And I'll be honest with you, there's some days where I just want to go home. I've already been home once. I know how it feels to be home. want to be on the mission, but then I also don't it sometimes. Cheat when I mean, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you do to deal with it? Well, I actually just had a mentor session. Oh, you did? We had some guy, yeah, we had some guy come and talk to us about this. And we can meditate. Um, we can clean. No, I'm just kidding. We can do, I don't know, what I do is I just try and stay busy like as much as I can. So busy. Like, if there's yes. any empty space, like that's when I miss my family the most. At night, I'm getting ready to go to bed and I'm not doing anything and I'm just like sitting and staring. Like then I'll get sad. Um, so like I'll go all either go write my write, write my notebook or like write it up like an email. Um, just like write something or like something I'm, I've been super grateful for is learning a new language. I, like any free time I have, I try and like spend it on my language study. Why is the mission trip so long? So I think a lot of people, when they see other people go on I mission trips... I don't know. I don't know why it's so long. <laughs> <laughs> Brock and I did a humanitarian trip, and that was like two or three weeks. And I feel like a lot yeah. of other people that do like just general missions, like they're just like a couple weeks in length. But why is it two years? I should actually, I should find that out. As to my knowledge, it is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. The goal can serve for however long you want to. I think there's a lot of growth that can happen in two years, which is really good. So I think that's kind of a part of why missions are super long. Yeah. You have to, you're doing the same thing every day for two years, and it's like putting you in a good schedule. The other thing too is like if you're speaking a different language, two years is a, a plenty time. of time. Yeah, it gives you time to learn it and like really get it yes. down. A lot of people say, well, from what I've heard, people on missions, it's usually about like a year, like after they've been on their mission for years when they start to get fluent with their language. Is that true? And I'm actually surprised too with a lot of people here because we're, in, like, we're actually... So, like we're still surrounded by a ton of English like I feel like my Portuguese would be different if I was still in Brazil yeah I don't know it's definitely I think it's probably, yeah, probably about a year well remember your first companion in Brazil didn't he learn it like after like two months or something oh yeah 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 <laughs> Elder Larson dude he, he's just so smart so yeah he, so he smart pretty quick. <laughs> he's like fluent and, and then, he's been out on the mission for like only a few months he's fluent been out the same, same time as me I think he hit his fluency when he was like literally two months. Like two months in and he learned Portuguese. Where does he live on the mission and does he have roommates? Yes, so I live in Boston right now. I'm like just a little, little outside of downtown Boston. And I live with one roommate. He can live with like, is it two other two other companions or two other roommates? But normally yeah, it's just like you and your companion. Yeah, it all depends. So usually it's just you and another missionary and your companion. But you can live with as much as much like four people maybe even more than that. In my mission, it's usually common to be with just one other person or be in like a trio there to be three missionaries. Any plan he has for when he moves back with the ring emoji? <laughs> Snoop! I just want to come back home and get married and then just, that's about it. I'm ready for my next step in life. You heard it there first. When they come back, <laughs> like right away, like, or how, how soon? I'm not wasting any time. <laughs> oh! Fun thing about being on a mission. Like sleepovers with your best friend for two years. You already did that, basically. Sleepovers. Yeah, I thought we were best friends. 
Oh yeah, I did that. Okay, definitely learning a language, meeting new friends nice. and stuff. My companion stuff, they're like super, super cool. Definitely like people I hang out after the mission. And then also like just the people that you teach. I don't know. I like, I really, I don't know. I really, I really like everybody that we teach and stuff. Random friends all around the world. And then actually, no, like I, I have friends from Brazil. I have friends, I have a friend from China. Um, I just went on like from a China. Like, exchange, which is basically like a, like you, a, a companion swap. And my companion was from China. It's like super cool. Did you speak some Chinese? Out. Yeah, did you speak some Chinese? Uh-huh, uh-huh. What did you say? I just said like, ni hao, ni hao. I used some other words that I learned when I was in China. Shi shi. Ni hao. Yeah, shi shi and ni hao. That's also the two words we know. Experiencing new things like that. Like, I would have never had that experience if I was on a mission, you know? What else do you want to say to them? Thinking about you guys every day. I hope you guys still want to watch us when, when I get home. <laughs> <laughs> they're tired of me and they're going to be ready to see all your videos. So when you come back, you better film yeah. a ton. Because right now it's just yeah, me. Promise. I feel like I people are getting bored of me. Haha, <laughs> didn't bore me. A bunch of cool <laughs> too, that I have from the and when Brock gets back, we're gonna be releasing the movie that Brock made. He's making a movie on his the mission. Mission movie. It's gonna be yeah. his whole mission, but in one vlog. It. <laughs> That was a uh, question and answer we back on the 2 e D is missing by Buck and Button. A link to the video will be the description below. Go and check them out and drop, drop a like if you like. And com comment down below if you want to see more reactions like this one. And subscribe if you are new. And click the bell to be notified when I upload. And bye. <laughs>